Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Review. So today I'm going to be following on the Dr. Martins that I've done previously. Um, I have done these way, way back at the start of my channel, but I've decided to just do a more better version. I know a lot more now about these boots than I did back then. So stay guys, we're going to do the Dot Martin Vonda boots. Now, these seem to be a very popular boot. I've seen a lot of people wearing these boots. They do come in two different styles. In fact, they may even come in three different styles. They come in this style, which is your mid-calf boots. They come in your ankle size boots. And I think they do do a shoe version of these. And they do a handbag, but it's very, very rare that you get to see the handbag for sale. These are still on different platforms. I will link all in the description box below. Where I bought these from originally, they do not have them there now. Now these retailed at £100. I have seen them go for crazy amount of prices, up to £170. Now guys, I bought these brand new with a box. I haven't got the box anymore because with moving and so forth, they got damaged. So I bought these in 2012, guys. Now, the reason for me buying these was I did actually have a DVT at the time. So I thought buying a mid calf boots something that's not too far up the calf because i did wear a lot of calf boots would be ideal little did i know the troubles with breaking in real genuine leather dot martin boots so guys as you can see from these boots they're a rose design and this is what drew me to them i love anything well you probably know from previous videos that i've done i love anything that's got rose in it even to the rose scent so when I seen these, I knew I had to have them and they were they were a surprise. I think they were a birthday gift of my husband, if I can remember. And I was so excited about getting these boots that I put them on immediately and went out for about 20 minutes, went for a walk. Within five minutes, I was crippled because at the back here were the leather dints into your um, heel. <gasps> They were just cutting into me um, to the point they did draw blood and I took them off and I just felt a little bit discouraged by them and I just put them back in the box and I thought they're pretty but I can't wear them and that's when my husband said you need to start the process of breaking them in but I did want to change them so I did add these laces guys now the ten a penny you can buy these laces for one ninety nine in Affleck's Palace. You can buy them on eBay and um, Amazon. Fairly cheap. You can change them to anything. I just got these rows on skull because I thought they were a good design to go with these. Now the stretching process, guys. First, I put a lot of wet tissue, what wet newspapers inside, and packed it full, and I left it for about three days. Tried them on. They were still cut in the back of my heel. I then put some shoe stretches in there left them for a few days put them on again they were still cutting into me in the end my husband said why don't you try putting them on and standing in the bath with so much water put in and i did that guys and it actually stretched the leather funny enough now if you was to wear these outside a long period of time and it was raining you'd probably find that it actually does stretch the leather now that worked guys so i can wear these now without having that heel pain that I got at the beginning with these boots and these are so old guys these are eight years old and you can see that they are in really good condition you can tell that they've been worn because the crease is in them but there's hardly any marks you can see slight cuffs where I walk if I just grab these boots now and show you I kind of walk like this so what always happens with my boots is, you see how they're touching there? I always take the paint off the inside of the boot here. And with these Doc Martin boots, or with any Doc Martin boots, this bit always seems to protect the boot here. I don't know if it's because it's wider than the actual shoe. And this is so hard wearing. This is your, your good, I can't even explain what this is. It's a very hard plastic, but it's this is what protects your boot basically. And I've got a slight mark here, but for eight years, that's that's good going. Um, the zip on it is really good, strong, sturdy zip as well, guys. As you can see, it's a proper zip. I've never had where the teeth have stuck on it. I've never had to pull it or replace the zip. A lot of my boots do not even last a year, never mind eight years. So guys, if you're thinking about buying a pair of Doc Martens in general, and you, you're worrying about the break-in time, they take about two weeks to break in. For me, 
it, not for everybody but for me it took about two weeks to break in and as you can see they are in perfect condition if i was to polish these up they would look absolutely spanking brand new again they've got the yellow stitch around the boot like all dr martin boots do and they have the um tag here and it says er walker with bouncing soles they're comfy guys but they're not the comfiest i've had when it comes to dot martin boots if you've watched my previous videos i will stick them all in the eye so you get to see them other dot martins i've got the solomon and i've got the ooh arcadia i've got the arcadia sandals and i've got the boots and i've also got the shoes now i would like another pair of dot martin boots probably the ankle kind again that's a breaking in that i don't like but for me they last if you want a pair of boots that last a very long time for me these really do hit the mark and new rock but mainly these are new rock so that's them guys um i will pop some links for you to go and have a look if you want to go and buy a pair of these when i put my first video on i i did realize from the comments that i think two or three people actually went ahead and bought the boots from my review and i was really really happy about that so i'm hoping that this updated version will give you um an indication of eight years down the line what your boot may look like and guys i don't just leave them in the wardrobe i can wear these despite having my disabilities i can wear these in comfort and they go great with jeans skinny jeans they go great with leggings even more with denim skirts so to say that they're quite versatile and they go quite a lot with a lot of outfits so that is the Vonda boots guys so if you are interested um go and take a look in my links um pop a comment on below do you own these what was your experience like in these did you find that they hurt did you find that they didn't last very long i for one recommend these 100 percent guys okay guys take care of yourself if you want to see more of my videos don't forget to hit that subscribe button i'll be more than welcome to have you aboard and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when i upload we do lots of shoes lots of gothic and alternative items a lot of kill star a lot of spooky boxes so if you want to see that come on aboard all right guys take care of yourself stay safe and i'll see you in the next one bye for now